most common questions I get almost on a daily basis is about saddle fit. And I'm sure in your job, you get it even more than I do. We get it almost daily, either email, telephone call. When I'm out in the industry, people are always concerned about saddle fit. Do you think that sometimes there's maybe a little bit too much attention paid to it? Sometimes, you know, often I tell people, when you go to buy a pair of shoes off the shelf, you try to find the shape of the shoe that you know is gonna fit your foot the best. It may not be perfect in every little square inch, but it's good enough. Sure, and saddle fits a lot like that. We have a tendency to overanalyze it at times. And so typically saddles are made to fit normal. And so if your horse is pretty normal, uh, whether he's thoroughbred or wide or backed, then most saddles are made to fit that type of conformation. Where we're really getting in trouble is when you are abnormal. Mm -hmm. That makes it very difficult. Yeah, so like a super high withered horse or maybe a sway backed horse. Is, yeah, is that what you, you know, mean? a younger horse, older horse that swayed back, no saddles are made to fit those type of horses. Mm -hmm. Then when you get extremely narrow, extremely wide, short coupled, all of those are, are, un, are, are not normal. So mm -hmm. as a result of that, we have these issues and typically people are trying to find a saddle that would fit that issue. That makes it tough. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say is the biggest concern or maybe the, the few biggest points about saddle fit? Well, typically when we fit saddles, the two biggest issues obviously are the shoulder. And so in our company, we have at least five different tree widths to try to fit that shoulder. And mm -hmm. some, depending on the discipline, are wider in the gullet, some a little bit narrow in the gullet. Some of them, we just spread the bar shape a little bit. And so mm -hmm. more of your um, performance horses, Mm -hmm. are very flat backed and very muscular and so on those horses we widen the gullet out a lot more. Mm -hmm. A lot of your trail horses they might have a little bit of weather and get big gradually mm -hmm. and on those saddles we actually just change the angle of the bar. Mm -hmm. So the shoulder width is a big deal for us and also we have a lot of bar flare on our wood trees and on our flex saddles they actually flex in the tips so it helps with that shoulder movement so mm -hmm. we're very concerned about that. Mm -hmm. And Julie, probably the second thing we look at is actually the slope of the horse's back. Mm -hmm. And so that's the next biggest concern. And usually when you talk about that, the idea is bridging. Mm -hmm. And so bridging so is... So you're getting contact in the front and the back, but not in the middle. Yes. And the middle part of the saddle is called rock, like a rocking chair. Mm -hmm. And so some saddles don't have enough dip in the middle, there's enough rock in the middle to fit the slope, of the, the slope of that horse's back. And that will cause, and you know, that can be fixed with saddle pads, they have bridge mm -hmm. pads, they have sway back pads, mm -hmm. those type of pads, or even your short coupled horses like your Missouri yeah. Fox Trotters. You know, uh -huh. those horses are difficult because the bar has a tendency to be longer than the horse's back. Mm -hmm. and we can get some bri bridging issues from that. Yeah, my horse is a, a very athletic horse and he, I wouldn't say he had a, has a dip in his back, but his withers are very set far back. So that does create a little bridging issue with him, but it's pretty easily padded out with just by using a bridging pad. Actually, I find with the flex tree, there's enough flexion in that to, to absorb that bridge and it, it's making good contact. And those are great things. You know, pads in our industry today have really helped a lot of issues and horses back and it, bridging things that take place. And sometimes if you've even got a saddle that's a little wider, that would set down a little deeper Mm -hmm. and take care of some of that bridge area in the mm -hmm. horse's back. So that's a great way to fix that. Mm -hmm. And you know, probably the other big issue is people think they have to have 100% contact, the bar against the horse's back, and that's mm -hmm. not necessary. I would say the lighter weight you are, and if you don't ride all the time, mm -hmm. the less necessary it is to have 100% contact. But if you're a heavy rider, or if you're a rider that rides, you know, six, seven hours at a time, two, three, four days a week, mm -hmm. that's much more necessary to have contact. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the pee in the mattress. If you don't have really good contact and you're heavy or you ride a lot, the horse starts feeling some of that. And that's when saddle fit really becomes mm -hmm. important when you want to have more contact than normal. Mm -hmm. What about wither clearance? It seems like um, a lot of people are, are struggling with these really high withered horses. What can we do for them? Well, that's a good question. You know, most of our saddles, we understand we sell a variety of horses. And so as a result of that, we have a lot of gullet clearance in the saddles. And so people always talk two fingers, three fingers, you know what I want, no contact. Because we're not fitting the gullet, we're fitting the bar. Mm -hmm. And if we don't have any contact up there, and if there is, if it's a little close, you can get a cutback pad to raise up the bar, but not mm -hmm. raise up the shoulder. And mm -hmm. that really helps out a lot. But I just mm -hmm. don't want contact. I really want to fit the bar against the horse's back. Mm -hmm. One more question, let me ask you. We get this a lot over the, people call up on the phone and they ask us what size tr tree they need for their horse. We can't even see the horse so, and we tell them there's, there's no way we can tell you that. 
What can we tell them so they can figure out what size tree they need? You know, what I tell them is we don't necessarily fit breeds, we fit conformation. And as you know, all breeds have different conformation. And so typically a medium or regular tree, semi quarter horse, all mean the same thing. They fit horses that are kind of thoroughbred in conformation. A little bit of weather, a little bit narrow, narrow chested. Then typically your wide tree fits more of your um, traditional quarter horse build. Uh, maybe stockier. Missouri Fox Rod stockier. Yeah, and you can kind of go by confirmation and tell them which tree would fit best. We also make extra wide, we make mule trees. So all those different type of confirmations, we try to meet all those demands. Cool, awesome.